All we understand there are some, no pun intended, some sparks flying at this meeting. Leon, absolute fireworks inside City Hall today over who's to blame for deplorable conditions at some of Cleveland's aging fire stations. City council members right now are grilling several city administrators on this issue. They want to know how money is or isn't being used or spent to fix fire stations that are completely falling apart, have been for decades. Floors, ceilings, roofs, walls caving in. No heat and bad plumbing at several fire stations. But an issue that sparked outrage today. Federal stimulus money was available to rebuild fire station number 36 built in 1921. But Toledo was awarded that grant because Cleveland wasn't ready, wasn't shovel ready. Councilman Zach Reed found that completely unacceptable. Do it. And if the president came with stimulus money right now, we'd still be in the same position for Station 36 because we don't have a location for it. We haven't done the bids for it. We haven't done the architects for it. And those men and women will sit in that fire station in a deplorable condition. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of sitting down here year after year and watching it with the opportunity to get a change. And I got more frustrated when Toledo beat us. When Toledo beat us. He said Toledo beat us out. Now, an assistant fire chief said being shovel ready means having engineers, architects, uh, contractors already in place, already lined up. And he said that takes money and resources, resources Cleveland doesn't have, he told the council. Now, several other city council members also got worked up over this. You'll hear from them tonight on News Channel 5 at 5 and 6. Reporting live from City Hall, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.